this lesson, we are going to create a Commerce.js account and create four products to display on our e-commerce website. To do that, we create an account in check.io and then we create four products by copying products from apple.com slash iPhone. It's up to you. You can use your own products. Also, we create sandbox public key and sandbox secret key and set them in the .env file in our project. And also we set this API keys in the Versal in project setting for cool shop. Okay, let's do this. To create product on commerce.js, first of all, we need to create an account on commerce.js.com. Open your browser and enter commerce.js.com, press enter. In this screen, click on sign up and you will be redirected to a new page. Create an account using enter email or password or using Google or GitHub. I'm using Google. After login, you will be redirected to dashboard.check.io and there we are. In the dashboard screen, you will see your sales, orders, and other reports. In this step, we are going to create products. In the sidebar, select product and inside that select products. I have created four products. What you need to do is to create products like this. Click on add product. What I'm going to do here is to create four products. And what you need to do is to open apple.com slash iPhone. Here we have four products and we are going to add these products to commerce.js. To do that, first of all, copy the name here. Go to product, paste it. Copy description. Paste it here. Set quantity, let's say to 100. For price, let's say what's the price here? It's 9.99, 9.99. For image, open buy in a new window, buy link, right click on product and save image in your desktop. And then go to the product page, choose image and then select image here. Also scroll down and for shipping options, change disable to enable and change domestic United States to enable. Let's keep them zero. By having this change, you have a product and you need to save this product. Do the same for next four products, iPhone 12, iPhone 11, and iPhone SE. After creating all products, you should have four products in this link. Great. Next step, we need to get API keys from dashboard. Click on developer, select API keys. And here we have our API keys. For this application, we are going to use sandbox account. We're not going to have real payment. So copy this text from here, sandbox public key and go to your Next.js application. In the root folder, right click new file and set file name to .env. We are going to create an environment variable. It's commerce public key. It's gonna be equal to and paste the value for public key here. Also, you can create commerce sec red key and set it equal to the value for sandbox secret key right here. Don't forget for real product, you need to replace this keys with the live keys right here. I mean this one instead of this and secret key instead of sandbox secret key. Save the file and then go to the version control, right click on .env and click add to git ignore. By having .env in .git ignore, 
you will not push this file to the GitHub and your keys will be on your computer only. Great. Let's go for next step. We are going to set the keys on the Versal 2. Go to Versal Projects. Select Cool Shop. Click Edit. Select Environment Variable. In the Add New for Name, enter Commerce Public Key. And for Value, enter the Test Public Key. Click Save. Great. It's been added to here. Let's add another one. Commerce Secret Key. Paste it here. Copy secret key test and paste it here and click save. So what we have in the environment variable of versal.com for cool shop, we have two environment variable and we set them to the value that we get from commerce.js. Okay, that's it about this lesson. For next lesson, we are going to list products in next.js. Until that lesson, bye-bye.